Worst high tier matchup, second maybe only to Kirby. Ooh. Mostly because Pikachu is just so small and mobile that it's very difficult for uh, for Jigglypuff to get the one starting hit she needs to go into a full combo. And Josh Brody's no uh, stranger this matchup. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. He's Being played the... CTG many, many times and has a flawless record. Yeah, and he he also he is also brothers with Dark Horse, who's known to play Puff. High recovery is what Jigglypuff wants. Yeah. Neutral air, not a bad idea, but it wasn't in the right place. Trying to be cautious in the recovery. And that forward smash managed to be safe only because it pushed Josh Brody to the ledge, but that should put it away. Uh, Pikachu very much in uh, kill percent, though. Very nice threading the needle between Dreamland and Josh Brody. Doesn't make the right call on the zip zap, but he gets a, a second chance at a read, and that one goes through. But it still wasn't quite enough. Neutral again looks like Brody is preferring to stay up on top of Jigglypuff. But it also looks like Lord Toko is not that upset that he's, uh, that he's doing it. Go that neutral Jigglypuff's go to spacing tool. It's gonna be hard to get a kill with it though, in that spot. That is true, it wasn't going the right way. And that, oh, yeah, great reverse back air on, to cover the tech on platform. Yeah, stray hit weak neutral air is able to lead to a kill at 100%, sure enough. Yeah, but right there. Jigglypuff so floaty. 64%. You know what they say in Michigan, when you die 64%, you level up. So we'll see if uh, if that level up is able to net Lord Toko a couple stocks. Hopefully silence the horn at least. Any touch right now probably will do it for him. Uh, it, might, it might just lead, lead into an edge guard though, and if it's not going the right way. Any strong hit. Yeah. There That'll do it. Lord Toko is celebrating while he can. He's still got to get one last hit to silence the horn. Not. But no, we count that. Sound the horn. That counts as a four stock. Going straight back in, and Josh Brody was just running the show for first game. We'll see if Lord Toko can manage to wrest some of that power from him. But, like, Brody's game plan just seems to be very solid, just not giving Lord Toko any, uh, any openings, and Lord Toko not quite capitalizing on them. Oh, man, that Pikachu grab from below the stage. Ah, uh, and a mis mistake in that input. Cost him stock. Here's one of the first clean grabs, but at that percent, he can't hope to chain it into anything super strong. Very nice evasion, 64%. Josh Brody looking like he wrote the matchup on this. All right, wrote the book on this matchup right now. Every time he's throwing out a hit, it's just landing. And I, that's probably an element of the experience you were talking about. I think it's very clear to see that he knows exactly what he's doing. Now Brody with a 64%. And again, Toko in a tough position, not... Uh, yeah, that, that won't quite do it. But Pikachu's at a percent where like none of Jigglypuff's hits is going to combo well. But it's not quite hard enough to kill him either, so he's just going to need to get straight hit after straight hit until he's finally up to a percent closer to this one. Back throw. Ah, that killed him across the stage. Now this could be something important, but the zip zap prevents it from actually chaining into a kill move. Now 
nice neutral air to keep the initiative. But Doc Brody doesn't care if you have the initiative for a little while. He knows he can get it back eventually. Okay, Lord Toka recovering very high. And now he's too high because he's yeah. off the top. Josh Brody taking him the rest of the way. All right, so this is uh, an all-time lead for Lord Toko in the set. Yeah, down air is not going to go through Pikachu's tail. And that should be it. Josh Brody making clean work of Lord Toko's Jigglypuff. You said sometimes the matchup just comes down to who